it's an option route. So I can break out, I can break in, and I can sit if I don't want to get killed. That near side safety yep. dropped back. So I was a little nervous breaking in because he just gave me the end. But uh, it was an option route, and uh, uh, nobody was cutting me, so I was able to break in and, and get the first. Adam Thielen working on the nickelback, Kwan Williams, and the Vikings pick up another first down. As you're running this route, are you aware of this backside safety? In my era, we called it a lurk coverage. He lurked down and take any in-breaking route. So he takes the first in-breaking route. Now you know you're clean. Are yeah. you seeing that as you're running your route? So I'm not exactly seeing him. I'm just seeing the near safety drop back, okay. so I know I'm clear. As long as the linebacker there goes with him, I'm good. But yeah, mostly now is give myself time here, buy it some time to figure out what I should do. And then once I know, breaking it. It's on us to win the game. It's on us. So this play, Adam, you're like, you're behind, the, I think, the Packers in this game, like all game. Yep. You're down eight here. You need the touchdown, the two point here, but you got to get the touchdown first. Green Bay leads 29-21. Green Bay rushes for Cousins, passes. What a spectacular grab by Adam Thielen. Unbelievable. This was actually supposed to be a corner pump. And the way the defender played me, he kind of jumps outside mm -hmm. and is trying to like take away my outside. So I just cut it off early and ran, basically ran out and up. Uh, but I was supposed to be deeper, yeah. but you know, I felt like I had my guy beat. You know, they actually did a really good job of disguising the two-man coverage. That safety actually made a pretty good break. Luckily, he didn't go to take me out. He went for the ball and we were able to complete it. Look at the concentration by Thielen between the two Packers. Great finish, man. Two receivers right. Kirk looking to pass out of the end zone. He'll fade one right to Thielen. What a throw and catch. And in the open field, Adam Thielen. That is 68 yards. This was a phenomenal play call. I think we were down maybe a mm -hmm. uh, field goal or something. So we were trying to sell a stop nine and go. Corner jumps outside when I make my move. So he actually made it really tough for me. So I had to go super wide around him to not get a collision. Look at this ball. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite routes in the red zone. There's zero coverage, I knew it. And a lot of guys, they try to take away your corner routes. So just trying to make it feel like I'm trying to get outside of them, like I'm trying to run a corner route, and then break in. You give them that stab outside, but then you also got the swim with your hands here too. Yeah, another thing, especially when you're this tight, is you don't want to get too close to a defender. You can see right there where I'm making my move, I'm a yard away from him. So that way I have separation, I can wait for him to put his hands on me, try to get his hands on me, and then swipe him away. Yeah. And then when I saw it was zero coverage, I knew that I had all the space. Even if yeah. he played good coverage, I could come flatter, uh, do things like that to, to get open. It looks like there's mirrored routes here, up top and down. So is Kirk right here, is he pre-snap reading this where he wants to go? Um, I think usually it's a high, like he's going away from the high safety. Usually okay. it's like a, it's a cover three beater or one beater. But when they went zero, his read could take him anywhere. Throws to the end zone, caught at him, Thielen, touchdown! All right, so this is a great route right here. You know what's coming right here. You're just buying some real estate up top. You're trying to just sell like you're running over across the field, and then you're hoping he gets on top here, and then you can swipe him by and go to the back pylon. And another phenomenal ball, just throws it out there where no one else can get it. It was a big play in the game. Passing left for Thielen! He caught it, touchdown! So tell us a little bit about the art of the toe tap right here, because where you're at right here and what you do to get your legs down and just make them almost go dead. That's the key, is, is just pretty much going dead. Once you feel that ball is really close to catching your hands, uh, you just kind of go dead. And uh, a lot of times, I, I have a decent feel of, of where I'm on the field. So you can see here, the last second, I kind of just do two, yep. two, two taps. Just, just to make sure. Make sure, make sure make I got sure. enough feet in there. 
uh, you're going to get matched up with this uh, middle linebacker. And I always think like this route is you're just trying to get well, him. Well, to... he stop right yeah. there one second. Kirk Cousins right now is smiling. He's smiling. He knows he's got split safety. He's got a linebacker on his man. This is like, oh, he's smiling right now at the line of scrimmage. And you got to be smiling yeah. as well. Norm. You got what Josh Bynes, I think, a yeah. linebacker trying to cover you. That's a mismatch. I just watched the route. It's a little stutter. I think I'm coming at you. Nope, I'm going over top of you. And then the delivery. That is a perfect delivery over the top of a linebacker that doesn't see the ball thrown. You're reading this on the move. That ball snap, you're reading the positioning of that linebacker, what he's going to – but you're seeing that split safety look, so you know you got a shot to get down. Yeah, you, that was the biggest thing in this yeah. play is, is you had to get the split shell. As soon as I saw them stay in the split shell, I didn't really have to do a whole lot other than just stutter and go. Run by. <laughs> <laughs> what a stutter and go on the linebacker. Just awesome job all the way around by this Viking offense. He's got to drive this ball. Like, he can't put too much air. You're going to run out of time here. Yeah, and he can't throw it late. You yeah. have to get that out early. Get like out you said, early. up and down on a line and right over his head. This move off the line here, Adam, like, this is a double right here. It's one, two stabs to get that. Yeah, so here uh, I'm really just trying to, to get him off his feet. So I took one step and I actually felt like I beat him. But if I just took one step and went, the two timing more. would be bad for the quarterback in the spacing between me and the slot receiver. So I tried to just get a couple more steps up vertical and then flat. I was hoping he'd throw me the ball there, but he's reading the other side. And then as soon as I saw him read the other side, I just ran to the sideline. And again, he threw it up and gave me a chance, which as receivers, you love that. When quarterback just throws up the ball, trusts you to go get it or, or at least uh, knock it down, so. Lattimore is being pretty sticky here. Like, he's yeah. doing a pretty good job of, like, tailing you right on this. There's a lot of contact there. There was two flags thrown on me. One for holding and one for PI, so. Oh, they all come out. Exactly. Sure. Look at exactly. the catch, though. Look at the catch. Yeah. And that's just snagging that thing. Highest two hands. Look at that. That's, like, my favorite thing in football is, is the high point, just going up and getting footballs. He's going against one of the best corners in football. Marshawn Lattimore, Pro Bowl player, and Adam Thielen makes one heck of a catch. Unbelievable. Now take us through what the Rams are thinking right now. It's a spray nine in the number system, spray fade. You see Diggs actually down here wins big time too. And it's an inside go ball which with all that space. But here, another great ball by Kirk, just getting it up and down. It was a tough look because the corner was outside leverage. And so there wasn't a whole lot of, a lot space, of space there for me to go. But I knew I just, if I got outside of him, there's so much space to the boundary that you're not going to get pushed out of bounds or have to worry about that and try to beat him with speed. And obviously, first down call, which was phenomenal because, yes. you know, they're not necessarily thinking deep ball, things like that. So uh, great play. One of my favorite plays. Wish we would have uh, hit that one more this year. Delivers it to Kirk, facing a blitz. He'll go deep for Thielen. To the end zone! Caught! Touchdown! This is actually, um, you know, something I'd, I'd like to do more, is just straight show straight balls throw. or post routes. Just a perfectly thrown ball, and he understands and trusts it. Adam Thielen, when he's got a shot, he doesn't drop it. I think it's so important to create separation in the rest of your, of your routes, yeah. in the rest of your game, to have be able to just run right by somebody. You know, a lot of times coaches, they want to they scheme it up and say, hey, we can, we can double move this guy or things like that. But it's like, I just want an opportunity with one chance to go get the ball. Adam, I think you might know what, what's coming here. I mean, you just mentioned that you just had three bones broken in your back. <laughs> stay inside, stay inside. And he likes you, by the way. I'm good. But he does put a hit on you right he here. He does. Like, this is one of those hits where this kid uh, he's making a pretty good reputation. Walloped by Jamal Adams. So, I mean, it's a switch, and you're coming in there, and you go inside there. And boy, does he take a lick from Adams. As soon as I went inside, I knew I was going to get killed. Kirk, you know, was releasing out his hand. I said, oh, here we go. So you can see me right when I catch it. I look to him and protect myself. But uh, he uh, knocked the wind out of me, so I wasn't breathing for a little bit. He actually said he tried, you can see he tried to pull back and get the shoulder turn. 
That one didn't feel good, but but I was all right. I came back in the game. Hey, you ain't get mad. You ain't get mad when I hit you in the belly. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. No. You're all right. Yeah, I'm all right. I didn't even know you were there. I thought I killed him. <laughs> I swear. I swear. I thought yeah. I killed him. <laughs> hey, I had to let you know I was here. That's all. <laughs>